No, I, like I said, my, my joke was always, it's Jean-Claude Van Damme. Yeah. And that's our intro, it's <laughs> Jean-Claude Van Damme. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be like, what? What about him? He was a great actor, what are you talking about? Yeah. What's there to... Oh yeah, it's toxic, so I'm waiting for the rat head to just jump out. Sharky! <laughs> Come on. Oh yeah, he was gonna just destroy this whole area. Yeah. I thought he had looked more physical balls than that. I yeah. Mean, I mean, Rotata does stab tackle, and Rotata's not exactly pathetically weak True. in terms of attack. And it also has a level on you. Yeah. Only one, but. Yeah, we're, we're, we're saving some of the uh, levels on second squads here until after all this fight, so I don't, like, horribly over-level the Raticate. Yeah. See, that's what I was waiting for in the other one. Yeah. Also, I keep up forgetting how, like, <laughs> the animation is for arm thrust. <laughs> it's like, where it's, they're not it's arm thrust, it's arm lightly push. Well, it's not even arm, it's hands. Well, yeah, yeah. Oh no, not the super fang. I guess I guess it does thrust out the wrists a little bit at the end. Like the wrists kind of flick yeah. out. But see when I when I maybe and maybe it's just mm. I don't know what there might be a slight thrust to it. But see maybe it's just because I don't know what they are referring to as arm thrust, but when I'm thinking arm thrust, and as much as I hate to make references to this game because it's just gonna invite um horror. Um, tasteful people talking about it, <laughs> but in like Smash Brothers, I think in Arm Thrust, like oh. Captain Falcon's Smash, where he oh. lobs his elbow into him. Yeah. To me, that's an arm thrust, and maybe yeah. I just don't know what an actual arm thrust is. Which well, is oh yeah, I forgot we got that right here. Dude. Oh yeah. Why don't they give me more of this shit right outside the fucking totem mon? Yeah. Like, oh, you're outside. Usually, it was after the like we were for like ground type moves and stuff. Uh, right, well, we can. Oh yeah, also roid up. Thing too. Yeah, we can roid up or just arm thrust caps. here, right? Because it's yeah, arm thrust is thirty power base and it caps out at seventy five. Or I can just give it seventy five power base. Actually, you also brought up a good point. What? I um, mean, I am the Googler. I do need bulk up though. That'd be nice. That um, that that that's my superhero name, the Googler. I do like work up, but I think. Okay, just drop tackle. Yeah, I'm actually gonna look up what arm thrusts, what the move actually means in, in Japanese, because maybe that actually make make a lot more sense. I'm guessing it's gonna be some sort of sumo, because it looks like a like you know like a sumo move. Yeah. It looks like what I would call um, force palm is what it looks like based on that animation. Yeah. Um, I just had a thought, because the, um, I'm trying to remember the moves that are the Raticate up here. The, the totem one, not this one, but... Oh, wow. Yeah, it literally translates to hand thrust <laughs> in Japanese. So, yeah. But, um, the Raticate's move, it's, um, the, the, it's the totem one. It was, uh, Bite, Super Fang, I believe, and, um... Scary face. Scary face. Tail? Mm, was it? I don't think it was. Bite, Super Fang, Scary Face. I thought it lowered your defense at one point. I think that was Potato who did that. Oh. I think. I don't remember. Oh, it had Tackle, I remember that. Was it Tackle? That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Or at least it had a, a fiscal normal move. Yeah, because I'm trying to think like what it would be. If it had any way to, like, detect or something like that, or any sort of protection move. So I'm like, don't I just one-shot it with Brick Break? Yeah. It's not even going to get to call the Rotata. Yeah, that's true, yeah. You just freaking take it out. I mean, it gets a defense boost. It has two extra points of... Or, two extra points, but two buffs worth of defense, which... Threatening, yeah, but I think Brick Break just doesn't care. I think times four damage stab is just... Overcome? Oh yeah, he just got drowsy. Whoops. Probably don't have oh, yeah. much in against him. Let us get you the hell out of there. Um. Do we try Mother of All Balloons? Can we just do jumps? Yep. Meow. 
It didn't even go for a psychic tech type attack. Embarrassing. I guess I could have gone for fake out for good measure and get a little bit extra damage in there, but whatever. Lick it. <laughs> that was a dumb thought that I just had. I was like, how bad do you think it probably tastes? <laughs> I mean, considering it's a tapir, and they smell bad enough. Ugh. I feel bad for John Cena for having to lick that. At least having a cat use lick makes sense why it has 20 base power. <laughs> Yeah. You don't forget that they fake you out for no reason. Like, I oh keep... hey, I get to play the game. Oh, no, I don't. I keep forgetting that they bother to have this stupid little interaction. They could have just had you fight Eradicate and move on, but they're like, no, we also want you to fight these two douchebags for, I want to say, the third time, but I'm not really keeping track. I, I, I think that the reasoning is because, like, they want to introduce the fact that they are they are trying to disrupt trials, even though I think this is the only trial that you ever have that they disrupt. But their, their whole thing is they don't like the, the trials system. They well, see, want to bring it down. That's even more unfortunate because that would mean that um, this trial would be disqualified because of interference and I'd have to redo it. Well, thankfully, they did not let me do that. Yeah. Bam! Alright, there you go. 12. Perfect. I don't even have to use right handy please. Okay, got to 13. <laughs> even more, don't have to use the, the rare candy. Force Palm. Ooh. Uh, it's good, but I got my break. Yeah, and also Force Palm is special, isn't it? No, it's physical. Oh. I thought it was one of the few special ones. No, it just, it has a chance to paralyze, which is really nice. I think it's a high chance to paralyze, too. I think it's like 25% or something like that. 20, 25, I don't remember. Maybe there's only 10, I just feel like it's 20%, but I know it has a chance to paralyze. And it's good, 60 power is nice, but again, I'm just gonna stick with the 15 bonus power from Brick Break. Yeah. Rather than the chance to paralyze, especially since Makahita's kind of a one and done, generally speaking. If he doesn't one shot it, he's probably not gonna stay in. That's a good point. Oh, yeah, it's nighttime. We're doing this early, you guys. <laughs> we want that. I want to hack the music files and put in the fat rat for this time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. If you don't have any way to defend yourself, I'm pretty sure I just one shot you here, so let's let's go. If you opt for the scary face, that'd be hilarious, because then I do it without any damage. Yeah, okay, Super Fang, that's probably the worst it can do, because that's a lot of damage. And it does put me in range of the Rotata, but I think he just dies. Yeah, yep. he just dies. So I'm gonna say, two defense boosts is a lot, but I'm like, times four and a stab, I'm pretty sure just kills him. Yeah. What an incredible trainer you are. Too used to fighting type Pokemon with a fighting type move against something with times four weakness. <laughs> what an ingenious threat. How has no one ever thought of that before? <laughs> I was just trying to spam a uh, fairy type move and I couldn't figure out what the, what the problem was. <laughs> We're going back and then, yeah, then, right. then, then, switched to, then I switched to a psychic type. <laughs> then I went to a ghost type, but when I couldn't figure out why my Astonish wouldn't do shit. <laughs> Uh, normally. Don't forget to do the YMCA to make sure the attack works somehow. <laughs> you know, they should have done that just as a joke for one of the, like, uh, like, event C moves that they added. Just someone just do the YMCA. Yeah. 
But instead, I think you just do the dance of whatever the typing is. It looks like for the Pikachu one, you still do the electric C move dance. It's like, come on, you should have had fun with it and just did something stupid. Like, it's already stupid enough. <laughs> Did they fight me or no? I forget. I no, the it, fight, isn't it? No, no, it's the next time you come and they fight you. Okay. Cool, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, wait, we get a Pokemon too. And Zubat is off the list, so we can force Rotata. Or what what are the other options? Diglets here? Oh yeah, if you get Diglet, that means you can get but you the guarantee better. Diglet there. Yeah. But I'd rather guarantee it there because but you get it better from there though. Like how so? Because there's nothing else there that you can't get elsewhere by fishing. No, yeah, well you can get a Pelipper though. Some that we thought that or we considered we might have needed. Uh could you get Pelipper on that route? I don't know if you could or not. But I'm trying to think, what is the other one besides Diglet and Zubat here? Oh, and then the Radada. If you get too close to that, though, you'll get the Radada. That's what I'm looking for. I think the red, the retainer is the better option. Because Diglett you can guarantee. And since we can guarantee Diglett, we can thus guarantee Longitar. I mean, Yelp, we could have gotten Magikarp on that route. And we got no, Magikarp you get from the city. That one, that one count. Remember, we counted there was a 90% chance for Magikarp, 10% Barbos. Oh, okay. That's the only thing you could get there, so that's where we get Magikarp. Yeah. Um, and like I said, I think Rotated better because it pulls it off the, the bag on us. Um, so with this, the down, the only thing we need now is a slow poke, and we can guarantee bag on. Oh yeah, because you already have one goal on us, too. Perfect. Alright, Tata. Oh, yeah, Neuburn. Or Neubat. Oh, that's the only one you can yeah. get here, yeah. Which, again, yeah. is another one that if you can somehow get it to live long enough, yeah. it becomes quite decent. But yeah, so Zubat, Neubat, and Big Little. The wild encounters with Tata. Got it, man. Alright, would you like to give a nickname to Tata? Yes. I just noticed she will be. That. It's called, like, Radida, right? It's the mouse Pokemon. Like, the Pokedex calls it the mouse Pokemon. Not Pikachu. It's the electric mouse, I think is what it's actually considered in the Pokedex. But, like, why is Rat ta -ta the fucking mouse Pokemon? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Uh, what do we want to call you? How about... I think of Fife and his family. There you go. Well, I mean, they, those are nice. There. Rotata. <laughs> we have Rotata. <laughs> Alright, I should probably put on the, uh, what you call it here. I think I got some. Yes, sir. There it is, yeah. 30 repels. There, now I can now I can say Rotata and no one can no one can blame me. <laughs> Except for I didn't put the second T, so it'd be like Rotata rather than Rotata. I don't know. Anyway, now we gotta go through and watch uh Rock Rock Smush it Route with. Which oh, not gonna man. lie, you know, Rock beats fire types. But I'm pretty sure Growlithe just kind of kicks the shit out of Rockruff in general. Yeah. Pretty sure Growlithe just got the stat advantage on that one, where it just kind of wins. Well, but also Z moves though are just bullshit. Well, obviously, and it's just a fucking fake one. I'm just saying, like, I think I think in a true one-on-one, -on -one, unless it's at higher levels where Rockruff's got access to a lot of its rock moves, Yeah. I think Growlithe just kind 
means, generally speaking. Did they do a catching tutorial on this too? Yeah, of course they did. It's a Pokemon game, why wouldn't they? Yeah. The only game you're allowed to skip that in is in the original red, blue, yellow, and green. Uh, yeah. And that's only because if you forget to talk to the guy, he won't do it. Yeah. Uh, then they then they decided it was a good idea to rectify that in all future games. Uh, what do we want? We should probably just boost Potato real quick. Actually, let's wait until after we get this. Oh shit, what's Spiro's chance of appearing at night? I think it was the same. I think it's 70-30. Uh, 70, 70 being the uh, Spiro. What else can spawn? Murpro? Uh, no, Volibee. At night? Yeah. It, it, it doesn't change for the... The grass changes, but the shadows don't change. Nice. Halucha it is. Yeah. Yeah, I think the encounter rates in the grass changed up a bit, but... Ooh, 13 Halucha. I have a little Halucha. Oh yeah, I forgot to just give me the same level of the thing to catch. Which means I don't think it's tackle, but I'm gonna get the tackle. Yeah. Me. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> Man, we're gonna get it in a, in a goddamn, uh, that's a reasonable amount of damage. Stay in the ball. You know you want to. It's great for you and me. Yeah, I still think they heal balls. Besides the ones that literally do nothing. Uh, or less than nothing in some cases. Heal balls are one of the most useless Pokeballs. Cause like, they literally don't do anything- Oh no, I forgot, you can choose to immediately add Pokemon to your party. Now. So, that gives them a slight use. If that. You can always just walk to a goddamn Pokemon Center. I know. Well, I, I mean, I'm kind giving- of like what we're about to do right now. Yeah, I'm giving them like, a tenth of a credit that at least they have something of a use now, but... but yeah, but they are low large, so like... We're gonna trade I consider the... We're gonna trade Cha for Cha. <laughs> nice. But yeah, but I still definitely consider them one of the most useless balls of all time. Once again, except for like... I think the Moon Ball in Gen 2 they had, like, a negative chance to catching Pokemon that evolved the Moonstone because they fucked up the code. But that doesn't really count. <laughs> like, they, they accidentally gave it a negative chance. Take good care of the shot. Should let the speed up. <laughs> forgot about the Pokedex. Yeah. I always forget about the damn Pokedex. I'm so happy I got the 70% bird for the 10% bird. Because I know how to make good financial decisions in life. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's for a friend that is obsessed with Spiro. But it still doesn't make sense why you wouldn't just walk yeah, out. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, she makes good decisions in life. She'll be a financially savvy consumer. Oh, the yeah. kind that doesn't completely get taken advantage you, you of. You will have to level up Chuck. Oh, how about that? Only level eight. What a prick. Yeah, I thought, I thought they usually just give you a Pokemon of the same level would be sent over, but yeah, maybe not. Well, like I said, now it just means I get to replace I mean, my I don't, health. I don't typically do trades. Especially anymore, so it's like I, did, I hardly notice when they do. Well, like I said, we just get to replace tackle ourselves and feel good about it. Yeah. 
Although, again, Taco doesn't feel bad in these new generations like it used to. And it was such a... Such a... Endearing thing for me to be like, Yes! I get to get rid of the 35 power, 95 accuracy attack! Ah, <laughs> oh, it feels so good! Now it's just like, well, it's perfectly adequate attack. Yeah. Especially if you have a normal type Pokemon, then it's like, yeah, it's actually not that bad. Okay, so... Uh, I'm gonna bother- I won't take the power thing off it until we get the sharp beacon just a second here for it. Oh, yeah. And then I can just do it all at once. Also, I should probably go do the berry patch. I almost forgot about that. But I want- not so much that I want to fight this thing, so much as I want the berries. I just like how it's like- Hey, oh, what's slow here, what's up? I, I, I like how it's almost- a 100% chance that every berry patch you walk up to has one of those things in it. Just put him up. Put him up. I'll fight you. I'll take on anyone. My face is fucked up as shit. <laughs> a wrestler versus a boxer. Wrestler wins, I guess. <laughs> well, it's probably because in these battles they might be acting, and let's be honest, Stallone's a kind of mediocre actor. And I'm being dead serious. I'm not well, saying that. I'm not, not saying, I'm not saying good actors. I'm not saying that the Stallone movies, the two of them that anyone even remembers series, I should say, the two series anyone even remembers were bad series. But I'm saying you could replace Stallone with any other competent actor, and yeah. it would only improve the movie. The yeah. reason the movies are good are because they're timeless classics that tell engaging, in you know, yeah, powerfully, interesting stories. powerfully powerful stories. Not because Stallone's a fantastic actor. He's not. Yeah. Let's see if I can run out of here before that bird. Ah, we got there. Oh shit! You're here. Should you give him the sharp beak while I'm remembering here. And I challenge anyone who is not a Stallone fan. If you, then I mean, by a Stallone fan, I mean anyone who probably knows who Stallone is. Probably has seen multiple of the Rocky movies. Has probably seen multiple of the uh, Rambo movies. But anyone who just has casually watched those and just knows Stallone's a person who exists, to name any other movie that Stallone's been in that somehow was better because he was the one in it. Demolition Man. Was he in that one? Oh, he yeah. was in that one, yeah. And, 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 because... and that's... Well, it's because his inclusion was them almost making fun of the, like over-the-top ridiculous, like, action stars, like, he or, like, someone of a similar caliber, like, 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 Arnold Schwarzenegger would be, like, the only two people that could physically be in that. Well, if you're doing it, if you're going right. by that logic, you could <laughs> probably also run, um, uh, what's the guy's name from Under Siege and a bunch of other movies that no one remembers. Um, Jason Statham? No, Statham's too new for that. Okay, well, I'm um, saying, like, it's, uh, like, that's only a little, like, it's the one guy, um, the ex seal, uh, who thinks he's the boss and everything, like, is that he was bounty hunting for a short time. Damn it. Siegel! Uh, Jason Siegel? Jason, oh, name oh, oh Steven Seagal? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Steven Seagal. That guy's another one who fits that same that, That's a good point, yeah. But once again, the but fact but that Seagal takes himself too seriously. But once again, the fact that we were able to name up to two other actors that weren't Stallone that could do that role just as well means that Stallone's presence wasn't necessary. Yeah. Where I say, for example, take, um, this is not, this is also not the, necessarily The able. problem is, like, Steven Seagal would be worse, though, because he'd be like, uh, you're not taking me seriously enough, and then he'd, like, try to rewrite the script because he's an asshole. Uh, where at least, where at least Schwarzenegger and, uh, um, Stallone, like, will readily make fun of their careers. Well, even, like, even back in the 90s. But what, what about then, if, if we're doing that, what about, like, say, Mr. T? Could you do put him in that same um, position and get away with it? You could pretty much take anyone from the A-Team by that logic and put them in that scenario. That's a, that's a good point, yeah. That's right, you can't get Roost yet, you have to do this first. I'm also just trying to think of, like, people that would work well off of Wesley Snipes as, like, the over-the-top, like, crazy villain. Mm -hmm. But take for take but for example like, what I mean like by an actor that you literally could have nobody else. Yeah. And I'm saying like Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool. I dare you to put anyone else in Deadpool in the new movies, not yeah. the, not the origins. Yeah. In the good movies, and I dare you to be like, yeah, there's some other actor that could that could totally pull that role off and make it work and make it like no. Yeah. There, there's not. Stallone just does not have that quality. Any role he's ever been in, you could put 
a handful, yeah. not necessarily you, any, you one, could put, you put a handful any of other, other action stars. You could put a lot of other actors in that scenario and it would be just as effective. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, all right, cool. So Get you hand. back so yeah, you can eat the, the Machop the super power thing. Yeah, you didn't even lose. Yeah, you didn't lose your encounter with this. I forgot what you ended up getting in that round. Oh, shit. What? I forgot I'm, I'm fighting type. <laughs> oh. I'm like, flying does not resist fairy. Yeah. You can drop fairy wind. Please catch it. Don't use fairy wind. Please don't use fairy wind. Okay, that's actually really good. I'm very resistant to that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get him out of there before it does, though. Decide that fairy wind's a fun attack to use. <laughs> Um, probably a fire type. Where's Cena? John Cena can tank anything this thing can throw at him. Yeah. <laughs> my bad, Shaw. That was my bad. <laughs> he was like, I don't know what you're talking about. That didn't hurt. It's like, oh. If only you knew how badly it could have hurt. <laughs> I don't think it would have killed him. I, I think oh, it would have no, yeah. It wouldn't have killed him, but it, it would not have felt good. Yeah. You are. Goddamn prick, you know that? <laughs> what level was it? Like 13, was it? 12? And it being this much of a prick? Yeah, it's not until they start getting into the 20s where you really start to think about knocking off health. Even then, you don't really have to. Yeah, it depends on the ball. Off the walls can generally get you up to like 30 or so without having to do damage. True, yeah. You might have to throw a handful of them, but you can generally get away with it. I mean, if you have the money, you might know, as well. Or if you can buy them at that point. Yeah, that's good. So sometimes some. Actually, I think game, the, the games are now fairly consistent at how much you need before they start being stocked. Fuck. Uh, no, I just thought fairy male. <laughs> hey, and you had the Tanya before, so I mean, the, you you were kind of following yeah. the same trend with that, actually. Yeah, we it. were, we were, we did a, we did to Tanya. That was the other fly, wasn't it? It was the exact cutie fly. Yeah, yeah, it was a cutie fly. It was a female. So it, yeah, yeah. I do want it though. It's a good one to have in the party. Yeah, uh, sure. sorry, mother of all oh, balloons. I like to do Kalia, just so like you know you can make sure that it survives until. Uh, no, it's still a good defensive typing. It can just come in and take a hit or two. Good boy. Of course, somehow. Yeah. So it, it's just valuable to have a poison flying, very good type. Um, let's throw some healing on everybody here, like say this. And then we will throw on a repel for now while we gather up the items that are hanging around. And we have to be able to fight that one, uh, Electric. We don't have to play the electric bird. I guess. Oh, there's a uh, the yellow nectar. It. I don't think it's ever been in this route before. But if you go north, I saw it. Maybe that only shows up at night. I don't think I've ever seen that there before. Um, what does it do? It, that's what turns the bird into the electric one. So if you have the ghost or fire or psychic one, that's how you get. Oh uh, well, the electric the one's electric okay. One. Electric yeah. one's a solid type combo, but I just think it's weird that like the, the entire. Do we want to fight the electric flying? Do we have anything that? Does? I mean, I think if you fight it, nothing does particularly well. I mean, I'll I'll win, but it's not. I, I don't think really if you need... fight her, she becomes like a recurring character that like you can keep fighting her different form. Yeah, it's not really worth it. I know we <laughs> usually fight it, but I don't think it's really worth it. I mean, I think we skipped it last time. Yeah, maybe. Um, I mean, possibly not intentionally, but I think we did. Did we? Oh, yeah, there's an item over here. Ah, yes. One of the Great Balls to replace some of the Great Balls I was throwing at the cutie fly. And then we just go into the tunnel and get Deli Bird. Probably. Or Happening if we're lucky. Yeah, Happening if we're real lucky. Oh, by the way, um, anyone who was bitching at me in the comments of previous videos about the throwing out Blissey against the Marowak, the reason we it died, and the reason we didn't realize it would have died, is because when we did our Celts, we did not include the Thick Club oh, bonus yeah. damage that it got. So yeah. that is why the Blissey, despite the fact that we did Calc it, and it was like, it would survive, one, we didn't Calc it on screen, but yeah. well, we Calc it, and we're like, it can survive, however, barely, one... Brick break. We yeah. did not include the uh, the thick club, which I completely forgot it was holding. Yep. For the longest time, which is why this new plan, now that we remember, is to take that thick club away from it. Yeah. 
And also, we looked up and it's like, that might be a totem fight where getting rid of the ad is actually yeah. beneficial. Random, Random was telling me early on in this playthrough that, you know, it's probably not worth it to fight the ads because they just call them back. Well, I did some research. It turns out they don't call the ads every single turn. There's a yeah. pet pattern to when they call it. So you actually can get away with killing the ads and they won't bring it back immediately. Yeah, and that particular one is really nasty. It's like, usually the ad isn't that bad, but the Slazzle is pretty bad. Come on, you're a goddamn deli bird. Just stay in the fucking ball. I remember the last time I tried a game with this deli bird too, and it like gave him some trouble. Why? It's a deli bird. Fine. I'm pretty sure it's a a water bug type Pokemon, right? <laughs> Damn, you know, I wonder if it works better on a water bug, or if it only gets, like, nice. increased. Yeah. It just healed you almost back up to your max. Alright, we'll try the game. But yeah, it, it probably just sees it once. It's like, it sees water or sees bug, and it just gives you the bonus. Like, it, I yeah, doubt it'd be a super bonus if it's a water bug. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't think it would either, but it'd be kind of funny. Just yeah. Because it'd be, like, times four effective ball. Yeah. <laughs> that would be really funny. I right, try it for Maybe maybe it just wants to be a really special, fun loving deli bird. It likes the it likes the white on red because it's white on red. <laughs> no, fine. You didn't like the white on red? How about a different variety? Oh yeah, that's right. They can do that. Good for you. All right, how about a different variety of white on red? You've even got a little bit of black in there to match your outline. Bitch. Hmm? How many presents do you have in that stack? It's, uh, it's a bag of holding. You've got all the presents. Actually, I forgot. It does have PP, so probably just as much as PP. <laughs> but they don't know what presents PP is because who the fuck uses presents? Who the fuck uses the deli bird? And what the fuck is a you <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but... In my brain. <laughs> oh, okay. That was kind of a funny message to receive from that. <laughs> it was a heal present, but I couldn't heal. Yeah. Oh my Ooh. god, you are a little bitch. Yeah, that would actually be an interesting thing for present, though. Like, instead of doing, like, different damage calculations for it, if it did, like, different type damage, like, so it's like, you roll, a, like, a d18, you know, and see what kind of... Or you roll a d20 and, like, a 19 or 20 heals, but then the rest of the 18 is a typing. And then maybe, like, each typing can, like, do something like Dark Went Lord's defense and Fire could burn, like... Hey, then Present wouldn't be as shitty, but it would still kind of suck. <laughs> Yeah, it still wouldn't be a good- I still wouldn't ever use it if it did that, but... Holy Yeah, that's why, yeah. that's why I switched, so I'm afraid it would eventually get one of the, the high rolls. <laughs> Let's go to Spud McKenzie. <laughs> I might end up having to kill the damn bird. I don't want to. Okay, I don't know if that was a high roll or not. I guess we can try and figure out here. So what we got? We got defense 14. That was not the high roll. So the high roll definitely killed. <laughs> um, you're beginning to not be worth it, uh, Deli Bird. You, you should really be considering your life choices here. And just get in the ball because you, you are not worth it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I think we just kill this damn thing. Yeah, I, I tried to give it a warning, but uh, it didn't seem right. to care. Uh, what do we got? We got... Quick break on Spud, but can't be too slow. I think we gotta switch into Cha, take the present, 
and then just drop the karate chop. It's yeah. neutral, but it should probably kill, right? Yeah. Or maybe we just have Potato do it? Potato can't probably take the hit. I think Shot just takes the hit and then goes for the karate. I probably even break break. Yeah. Or maybe I can just roost it off, actually, and then try again. Oh, yeah, good point. Nice, nice dodge, nice dodge. I also forgot that present had a not a hundred accuracy. God, that is so stupid. Oh, <laughs> he's so struggling! Oh, well, that he can probably catch him easy. Yeah, and until he kills himself. Yeah. Well, we're on a timer. Premier ball. I mean, Delaver already put himself on a timer by fucking with you, so. Well, the good news is it's gonna survive four because it's got an odd number of HP. Oh, yeah, that is true. You are a son of a bitch, you know that? I already know what to call this thing, if you catch it. I'll save so me. <laughs> It, it it's it's the, it's themed around it being a deli bird. Chris Pringle. No, nothing that nice. Oh wow! If it actually succeeds in this, I I don't know if I want to laugh or cry. <laughs> I guess I guess laugh. All right. We <laughs> stop the damage and let the one kill itself. Holy shit! And we start all over again. <laughs> Well, since this this one's female, I mean, I guess there could be females named this too, but I was gonna say, please her name should be Cole, because it's the worst present ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yay, extra defense. <laughs> Spud McKinley! John Cena! Oh, everyone's leveling up, it's like, damn, that deli bird, he really worked us over. Nice! <laughs> He's like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm sorry about my friend. He's like, I saw you boosting that shit up. Here you go. Here you go. Because this one also gets in the Pokeball immediately, too. That'd be great. It's like, I'm sorry about my friend. He's an asshole. Oh, no, no. Does Wing Attack kill, you think? I have Sharp Beat on. It's the problem. Honestly, at this point, if it does, do you care? <laughs> I mean, I don't want to just give up an encounter. <laughs> yeah. And Delibird isn't definitively useless. Yeah, he's sack fodder at least. But it's a lot to it's a lot to go through for sack fodder. <laughs> but he also, as we learn, can learn TM, so again, he's not completely trash. You can just get rid of present eventually. Yeah. But I thought like all of Delibird's stats were like they're not particularly absolutely good. garbage too. Yeah. They're not particularly good. But again, the Pokemon itself isn't directly useless. Oh, I forgot. Were the items in this cave like any good? There's a few good ones. You get never melt. Oh, oh my god! I think it actually stayed in the Pokeball. I can't tell. Yeah. I think I, I might be dreaming right now. I wasn't looking at the screen when I heard the click. I thought it was like someone pulling a gun at us or something. Like this. Halushu just got sick of shit. <laughs> Get in the ball. Put my comments if you have any problems to get a deli bird like this before. God. Alright. Give a nickname to the deli bird. It is... <laughs> you could actually call it Sack Fodder just because it has a sack. <laughs> what if oh. you did this? <laughs> Damn it, I'm Fine. Oh, they're gonna say Sack Off. <laughs> Kind of like that, actually. It's like, that sounds like something that they would say in, the in like, Xeno Blade. Like, yeah, and the, and the, the two after gonna look really weird, so I don't want to do that. Um... Hold on. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That will fit. Damn it! <laughs> That's not gonna fit either. Um. Well, we have a sack of spuds. We could also have a sack of shit. <laughs> Is it ES or IS? I think it's IS, right? For Christmas? Yeah. It's AS. Right? Yeah. Have I been pronouncing it wrong? I've been pronouncing it IS all my life. It's, it's technically Christmas. That's what I'm saying. I've been pronouncing it with the I my entire life. Yeah. I think I've been pronouncing it wrong all this time. Well, I mean, we're also Minnesotan, and that's just how Minnesotans pronounce things anyways. <clears throat> uh, for now, I can go to box. But yeah, because like the, the, the word is literally Christ Mass. Like, yeah. Okay, well, everyone take a good look. This is one deli bird worth of damage. That's so much. Well, technically, it's like one and a third or four. Mm, not even that. Actually, yeah, that one, the one, that one healed, healed yeah, and then one healed and like, did yeah, very little damage. Well, we got. We got our Pokemon for the cave here. I should probably put the Repel on if we're gonna go grab all the never melt ice and shit. I mean, honestly, like, even more to your team. Oh, yeah, this is where they fight you. Yeah. I always forget. This is. Fuck, who do they use? A Slowpoke? No, it? it's a Psycho type. Oh, no, it's, uh. Oh, wait. Fufu. Fufu. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking of the other people that use the, uh. Yeah, I was thinking of the Smooch and then Glaceon. Yeah. Because it was like, I remember it was a Psychic type and then something else, and I don't remember what it was. I'm like, oh wait, no, that's the. Ah, oh, I still got to break the rank. God damn it. Oh yeah. Well, oh, hey, if you crit, you die. You, can, you can apparently kill it. Got the headbutt. I can do some damage, but we're, we're okay. Crit doesn't kill. That's a pain in my ass. Unless we crit, which gets to go through everything. Yeah. Yeah, normal cryer trap though should do it. Yeah. Cha's getting very old over level. Standard Cha. Yeah, I think it's because he is like a uh, one XP curve where it's like you get the fuck ton of levels early on, then it slows down. Is he? I don't know. It feels like it. I mean, Mago Heat definitely feels like it with how many levels he got. I don't like think. Couple, I don't, I'm pretty sure he's on just the fast. They're they're generally pretty careful about what Pokemon get the erratic and sporadic XP curves. I guess it's true. Yeah, it could yeah just be regular fast. I'm not saying it can't be. I'm just saying that Game Freak has been relatively careful in the past, at least, about yeah. which ones get those. Uh, maybe what we can do to help uh, stymie the Shaw getting insanely overleveled is to just switch someone else up to the front rotator. It's gonna die. Uh, Puck does okay, generally speaking. As long as it has a struggle bug, which it does. Well, have. yeah, and in this, well, you might be at a low enough level where you might still be encountering some stuff, but expert belt. Oh yeah, that's right. I was like, I think we missed that one of the times we were playing through this. I think so too, yeah. I remember giving it to Psyduck in one playthrough and then the next playthrough going, wait, didn't I have an expert belt that I gave Psyduck that one time? Yeah. And then we'll talk to the letter. Gotta find your big brother. Or the little brother. I forget who we're supposed to find. I think it's the little brother. Yeah, I don't know what city that was, but I think it's the city on the third island, I think. Um, what do we got coming up? We got um, a dude with a slowpoke and a butterfree coming up so we can get roost. Then there's, yeah. um, we have to fight one other guy first who's got, what's he got? Who's that other guy? Um, there's nothing really that's intimidating, I don't think. 
but uh, I don't remember what it was. Yeah, I thought it might be a uh, it's slightly low enough level where things will show up, like in Dunny Bird. Actually, if we kill it, we'll level up. I still haven't taught the damn. All right, you gotta remind me to teach Cha fucking. Um, oh, break, 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 break. Yeah. Oh. There, pop oh, 13. Still going? Yes, please. Yeah. Um, probably crap. The trap. Yeah, especially if you don't stab it. I mean, even if you do stab it, it's still not great. Alright, here we go. Let us remember. Yeah, you should probably cheat uh, Chopper Great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I knew you were going into it anyways, but you did tell me to, so. <laughs> there, we got Brick Break. Yay. Oh, can't go that way. It is surprising how early on they give you Brick Break, but they don't give you, like, other moves with roughly the same power. Just of other typings, like... Because isn't Bulldoze roughly around the same power as Brick Break? Bulldoze is 60, and it has been guaranteed speed production. Yeah, so it's like, why... Why give you Brick Break? Because they were trying Bulldoze. to give you an advantage against the first total Pokemon, but all the other ones are like, good luck! I guess, yeah. Pew question mark. Um, yes, I agree, that is the sound Pew Pew guns make. See, it... it it's asking, like, yes, yeah, pew pew guns make the pew sound. That's why they're called pew pew guns. <laughs> I mean, Maybe I guess... It now? Uh, yeah. I, I guess, like, the thing is kind of spacey, so, like, I mean, maybe that's just the sound of the guns that it makes where it's from. Alright, we gotta fight you. I forgot about you. We gotta fight you, which I think the bug can do alright. Yeah, I mean, it starts with, the. Uh... Roll it out. Yeah, the bug's gonna be okay. He doesn't peck, which is a little intimidating. Mm. And it's flying type, I believe, right now still. Yes. So bug is neutral. I yeah, it doesn't become ghost until it's full ghost. I'm not doing that. I'm trying to go hope there. I don't think we want to leave that in. We're just not in a very good position. Um, is that bad? Is he wing attack yet? I don't think he does. I'm kind of trash against that. Um. We just throw in Cena. Yeah. Just fire fang it. That block damage not light from a peck. I did <laughs> type, but Yeah, it looks like a stab, but it's still alive. Boo. Okay, so yeah, then he's got Pichu and is it Pichu or Pikachu right now? I think this is the first time you're encountering it, so I think it's still should be Pichu. Drop lick for double kick, and then I forgot if he has Noibat or Eevee. I forgot what when, when he gets. Okay, I guess I'm the first. Um, unfortunately, I just got John Cena's ability to deal with this thing. <laughs> time. Uh, what do we got against Lady? You have a fairy, so I mean... Yeah, Puck can come back in and deal with this. Oh, but it's also a flying type. Oh yeah, it is. Duh. It doesn't have wing attack? I don't think have wing attack. I don't remember what it has. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, no bad kind of try. <laughs> See, I would take a, uh... I don't know it was a Pikachu. I thought you already fought it when it was Pikachu. Or, or I didn't think you fought it when it was Pikachu ever. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I would actually rather have the Delibird than a Noibat. Because Noibat's not good until it evolves, whereas Delibird at least has some value as it moves on in these early stages of the game. That hurts a kind of the here. Yeah. <laughs> 
like the whole like bird in the hand is like better than two in the bush kind of thing. It's like, yeah, the one has far better potential, but like potential you at least you potential is not as one. valuable in like Pokemon as a lot of people like to think. At least yeah. not in a slot. Unless you can do kind of what I did in the uh, platinum one where you have the confidence and box like potential yeah. in your box to leave something in there until you need it. Yeah. Like I did with Bagon and Larvitar in the Platinum one. But I don't have that kind of box space. I don't have that luxury yet. Like, yeah. I get away with that that level of confidence that I can be like, yeah, I don't fucking oh they fully healed me. Oh nice. What what are you holding? Oh, I guess I'll take that. Does it do anything in this generation? There's no honey trippies. Not bad. I dish up some berries here. Orin, we got five. Let's see if you can have a berry. And you can have a berry. And you can have a berry. And you can have a berry. Oh yeah, we also never did look at what uh PD Fly's like special ability is. Does it have more than one? Well it's we have seen it have more than one already. Have we? Oh, yeah, it goes when it's honey gathered. Which is a lot not as good as, like, the... Whatever the... Good for you. <laughs> I think that one's compound eyes. Or shield dust. Yeah, but shield dust, yeah. So we gotta fight you, which I forget what you have. The other guy leads with Slowpoke, so we can lead <laughs> with Cutie Fly. Should do okay. So that's nice. a pretty good special defense. Oh, he's got a problem. You really don't want to do leave with the, the rat? Well, I was just saying, Q-Flight works. You could leave with Kayla, but... Um... Whoever comes in is probably taking a pretty big... I don't know if I trust Rotata or... Ala, Kayla, whatever you pronounce it. Uh, random, I, random jumble of letters that I thought looked like a name. <laughs> oh, you didn't even base it off of something? No. <laughs> I thought you based it off of something, like, I don't know the reference, but... No, I'm just like, it looked sort of like the word Kayla. <laughs> um... As much as I hate to do it, I think I gotta run, like, Cha in. I mean, they, 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 if you're talking... gonna hit hard, and Kayla and Rotata, the two I want to bring in, are not gonna be able to do it. Yeah. And if it drops a fire type move, Pop just can't live. So it's yeah. gotta be one of these two, and... If you're talking Japanese pronunciation, K A I, it's Kai. Kaiwa? There. Fine, that's just no pronunciation. It did have a fire. Okay, good thing we swapped. Break it, breaks. Even though I'm gonna fact check that, so I might have just been pronouncing that wrong the entire time. Which would be awkward. Alright. May as well heal for the mentor. Well, for here. I meant to go to the one menu, but whatever. I wanted to. I was going to do what you were suggesting. Probably just leave with potato. It's a great way to get some damage in on Slowpoke. And. It has Water Gun, but we'll be dropping that, sadly. I don't think it had Confusion, to be honest. I don't remember definitely using Confusion. Probably has it, though. Then we have the Butterfree with Roos. Silverwind, and nothing else of value. We fight, and we can fight. Flinch! Flinch! I hate you, Slowpoke. We got him. Oh, real, real good there, uh, Wikipedia. <laughs> God, it just says, like, K-A-I, rhymes with A-I. Like, that's the part of the pronunciation that people be having difficulty with their, uh, like, uh, smart one. <laughs> like, right. swap into the bug, I guess. Deal with like, I would say, like, if it was Kai, it rhymes with die or something like that. 
what was that? That was 13 damage, half of 13 is 7, so 20, so I can still have a crit. Go for the silver win, see if we can get a... Get some stat boots here. Tommy? No. Oh, it does have confusion. Ooh. But we are faster than it, so we can just go for the kill. So 100%, go for the Omni Boost. Not that I necessarily want to keep going against the Butterfree. But, yeah, that's good. Oh, I know. If you got the Omni Boost, you could probably keep it in for the Butterfree. Well, you're not necessarily bad against the Butterfree, though, because it, it only also has Silver Boost. Yeah, but it's also got pretty decent level on it. I think we just swap to John Cena and just, yeah. just end this before it becomes a nightmare. Especially if you start getting Omni Boost. Yeah, that is very true. You just want to kill it quickly. Oh, 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 oh. That's not very effective, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 17 left of 41. Okay, how much damage was that then? So it'd be 3 to get to 20, and then 21. It's 24 damage. So crit is lethal. Crit is very lethal. Um, we could swap to Halucha. It has times 4 resistance to, to that, and it doesn't actually... I, I, Fuck me! I yeah, and you have aerial ace. Yeah. yeah, fuck me! I don't want to. I don't want to risk John Cena's life. That was a shitload of damage. Yeah, holy fuck! I mean, I know we keep on getting surprised by the amount of damage this buttery cream can dish out literally every single time, but there it God is. God damn! Let's see, I think it might be faster than me now. Well, once again, though, it only has two or three more attacks. Period. All the groups, but. So you don't have to survive very many more. Of course. Alright, I'm gonna well, go for it the might, boost. it might roost now. Yeah, I'm going for my own roost though, so that if it crits, I have a better oh, yeah, point. I don't think I died to a crit, I wasn't doing the math, but I just wanna like, you know... I wanna get... I think you would've just started like, killing those. I probably would've, but like I said, I didn't know if it was going for the silver wind or not. Yeah, true. And I just feel safe now. Feel confident, and maybe I high roll this time. True. Unless I did high roll, in which case, whatever, it's still too. Or shy. maybe you crit this time. Right? Yeah. Just with it being faster, I'm just nervous. Yeah. I feel like that silver wind is on it just because the game itself is praying for the Omni boost to help make Butterfree more of a threat in terms of its ability to roof stop damage. Yeah. The problem is that Silver Wind itself is so trash because it's got five uses, so it can't do anything after that. Yeah, it basically just has no moves. It's like, you have to survive five kits, some of them probably being Omni Boosted, and then you just have to survive. Oh, <laughs> wow. I don't think we've ever had the, this thing evolve on the first island before. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't think so either. I think John Cena uh, just a, a, a little teensy, eensy, weensy bit a lot over level. Well, I mean, you have other Pokemon that are on the same level as John Cena right now. I know, so. but it's just because, like, it's... <laughs> half my team is, like, Zubat, which doesn't really... Is, is literally just there to switch in on certain attacks. <laughs> yeah. Um, then there's Rotata, which... And survive until it becomes, like... Yeah, oh, and, then the, and then there's like Rotata, which hits hard enough, but it just can't it hit just it. Dies. It just dies in return. Yeah. And then we just got Cutie Fly, who I'm trying, admittedly. Yeah, she's probably, what, to 15 just now, I think it was? I think so, yeah. Like, I'm trying to use the other ones, sort of. But, team is not particularly strong right now. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be really nice to see that Cutie Fly actually evolve for once. Oh, yeah, there's the item, yeah. Gimme. Speaking of... Um... Oh, yeah, I should probably heal up. I think we're gonna be running past the Pokemon Center, and by that I mean I think we're gonna be running past my house, but... Whatever, we'll just heal up here. Yeah, just in case. And then we can... Get some orange berries back. Oh, fine, we'll get citrus berry back. He actually heals for 12 HP, so I technically it's a powder over and berry. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we got, we got potato up front, although I don't want potato up front because we're to do the fighting guy, which is what you are surprisingly really good at. Baiting out the stupid super move from the shape. 
And I did that on purpose, yes. <laughs> uh, but then... Ooh, I don't get it. Damn it all. You're fighting the tree. Oh. On the same route. Oh, yeah. I thought you were on route one. No. I, I thought it transferred to route one. No, not yet. So I'm like, what the fuck? Oh yeah, you know what, I forgot to look up, what did our Lucha come with? I was hoping for Brave again, or like, Adamant. Is it guaranteed it, Brave? I may be. I think it's guaranteed to be Brave. Which is awesome, I mean, it kind of sucks that you lose the speed, but again, it's not that big a deal, but... Yeah. It just means that it'll always have a useful nature, no matter what, if it's guaranteed Brave. Yeah. You're not a trainer? You're not, how about that? Oh yeah, because the one guy wouldn't fight if he was. Yeah, yeah. So, fucking rock rock. Hey, you can't be jealous of it yet because you might still actually get one. Yeah, but the thing is, you see, we're actually got a pretty decent setup right now, which means we're not gonna get that. Yeah. Sadly, I do believe that. We're gonna get him a chop because we already have Halucha, like usual. Who are the other ones you can get? Um, well, it's also night, so the, the list might be slightly different. I can not double check that <laughs> at the moment. Actually, I think one of them might be Makahita. Maybe we did get one off that list thing. Maybe Makahita, Machop, Rockruff, and Harvey. I think I'd be four in that area. Machop, Rockruff, and Carbank. What's the other one that I'm missing? Is it Makahita? Oh, what? Uh, yeah, he's got a Makahita. No, not this guy. I'm talking about at the far, the further inlet or whatever in that area. I'm pretty sure the, the four Pokemon are Machop, oh. Makahita, Carbank, and Rockruff. But it might not be Makahita, it might be something else that I'm not remembering. Painful, but I got time for res. Thumbs for it here. I don't want it to get another revenge off before it's been... Yeah, it's very dangerous. Oh, farthest hollow is what the that area was called. Yeah. Oh, you son of a bitch. But that's actually for the best, because now I get to kill it. Right, is gonna potion. Yeah, I will say I definitely think he has. You are a son of a Oh, he has a full heal too, though. He? he did already use that, so I stunned it. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's revenge. It shouldn't do much. Could still go for revenge again, but I don't know if the, the revenge. Okay, this is gonna hurt, but we'll be fine. The crits, didn't crit. Eat my berry, and then we kill it before it gets off its stupid Z move. Unless Z moves are priority. I don't think they are, though, are they? No, unless they're doing a priority move like the top, then it'd be like a quick, a uh, normal Z move. Okay. Um, so that was his only Z crystal, right? Mashop is the only one who can drop his Z move. I think we can just swap into a Cha and wrap this up. Well, didn't we also find out that he had one on his Crabrawler too? Did we? I think I think he had uh, used it on his Crabrawler once also. The yeah. trap should also be fun. I, mean, I just don't trust Makahita to not pull some bullshit against the, the bug there. The fake out, but it's fine, so it's locked into it, so it's just nothing. Okay, this actually doesn't tell me night or daytime, this is just weird. But it's Machop, Spindo, Rock and Roller, Carving, and Rock Roller. No, it's not good. It shouldn't be Spindo. And Ultra Sun on the Road. Oh, Rock and Roller is the open. I got it. I didn't know she ended. I don't remember Spindo. And it's barely 30%, so it's like you get it as likely as you get the job. Yeah, oh, yeah, it does have the 
Yeah, it doesn't look like- I think it should be okay though. Right? I don't know what it's- what's it's, uh... What's it's fighting type of that it's using? Oh, Power Punch, which is 60 base. I don't know how much that's gonna be with Percebo. Well, I think it was just fine though at the half damage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pollution, pretty damn good. Oh, and the devil version. Okay. Because it's a totem Pokemon, uh, Hakamo'o, like... There's no totem Pokemon in 10 Carat Hill, what the fuck? Wait, I guess in the devil version. It takes place in 10 Carat Hill and they have a little mini trial for you. And I guess Golfer Lady is the trial captain of the demo trial, so she does exist in one other form than just say, hey, here's how you do the flying type Z move, and then also, by the way, I'm going to be four member later. <laughs> Come on, let's wrap this up. I want to go and potentially get the rock rough. Also, I think it's kind of funny that, like, most of the Z-moves are dances. That's not a dance, that's you punching. <laughs> it's like, that's you shadow boxing at best. I don't think shadow boxing is a dance. Most of it is, and, you know, interesting. I learned something if that, that's true. Urgh. Oh, my thoughts exactly. <laughs> the fucking, oh. With the fast speed, how in the background is this is spazzing out. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't need your shitty Z move bullshit. Just like I didn't need your shitty Dynamax bullshit. I used it, but I didn't need it. <laughs> <laughs> Although my second one I didn't get to. Yes. Come on! It, admittedly, like in the first the actual one that I recorded, I did it mostly because I was like, well, it's the new mechanic. Well, it's the new gimmick. May as well use it a few times. Uh, you know. I felt more or less forced to use it. It's like, well, if I don't use it, then they're just going to steamroll me when they do it. So it's like, fuck it. Yeah, it's just a matter of knowing what they're like weak against those. The long term with super effective moves, it's... Because the thing is, like, the Dynamax, all it does is give them bonus HP. Um, and then their stat, their attacks get roided out. Yeah. But their stats, other than HP, may remain the same. So you just, as long as you're hitting, you're going to do a shitload of damage. Because as we've talked about before, yeah. defense is far more valuable than... Um, than... Than HP. just HP, uh, yeah. Well, having no HP and high defenses is not super great and having high HP and no defense is also not super great. Like you need kind of a balance of the two to be actually like really good. Yes and no, but it's like for example how say Kabutops yeah Kabutops is the evolving has like 115 defense and like 75 special defense, but only 60 HP but he can tank like a motherfucker True. despite his lack of HP. True. Because his defenses are decent enough, especially his uh his physical defense. But if you had like the situation that we've already come across, though, it's like, oh yeah, you got good uh, defense and good special defense, but you have 25 HP on level like 17, 20, or 18 things, like, ah, uh, no, still can't do that. <laughs> That's still really bad for that level of Pokemon. Yeah. Well, admittedly, yeah, but there'll always be a, a balance between the two that you need to meet, but. Yeah, I would rather it's say, close, if, if my options were like you have say, like say, two hundred or even two hundred fifty from saying argument stat points, you're allowed to uh, uh, split up between your Pokemon and any stats or stats that you want, but as long as they're defense and HP, I would do something to the effect of like a hundred into both of the defenses and fifty HP because that's a better value than putting seventy five in each. Yeah. Just probably put the uh, repel yeah, on there. Maybe a very good idea. Also, make sure that you have, like, I, I think 15 might be high enough, but you should probably put a 
put something higher level up front just in case. I'm pretty confident there's nothing here that's like 15 even, but yeah, I get what you're saying. I, I, I thought that they they got up there though. Woo. Like I thought they get as high as 60 yep. in here. That's what we're looking for. Get off the Tauros. Yes, God forbid they just let the Tauros walk through this area. They had the option. Or they just could... have it automatically go away and then come automatically back when you, you know... Yep. They, they could have... They could have just made that area wide enough for Tauros to go through. The same with, say, I don't know, uh, this area up here. They could have made it wide enough for Tauros to go Yeah, and that one even they looks literally. Like they literally chose to make you do this. Yeah. It, was a, it was a conscious decision yeah. that they were like, Fuck you, Tauros is not allowed to walk here. And that's what makes it bad. How do I know it was a conscious decision? Because I don't for even a minute believe that during the playtesting, the people charging through that area with Tauros as they're supposed to didn't try and walk up there and go, Mom, that's unfortunate. Tauros doesn't fit. Yeah. And then go, hey, devs, Tauros doesn't fit. And then they went <laughs> like, oh, yeah, we should probably make it wide enough for Tauros. No, the dev, the, 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 yeah. the, the playtesters did say that. They're like, hey, Tauros doesn't fit. And they're like, yeah, we know. We did that on purpose. Yeah. Yeah, there's look. There are 18. <clears throat> but it's only with surfing. 14 is the highest. So yeah, I see I should be fine. Nuggets. You're gonna need to burn him. I'm just gonna keep the rappel on. I'm gonna grab all the animals first. We'll save the, we'll save the rock rough. The grand reveal. Yeah, it'll be the, the it'll be the, the finale of this area. Jesus. So it's a lot further than I thought it was. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, do I want to go back into charge mode? I'm like, it's, I'm like, nah, I'm at the top right about now. I think, I think, I think. <laughs> All right. Nope. Oh shit. <laughs> Wrong button. I was like, oops. Whatever. We'll we'll right, run off a rappel here. Tor yeah. does it pretty quickly here. Just a pretty long burn off some steam. Tor Spice is really good at that. Come on, give me the dog. Give me the dog. Dog, 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 dog. Yeah. Oh, not so. Speaking of Spinda. Yeah, that's uh. That's that's a that's a Pokemon. Yeah. It exists. It does shit. I've been told. It teeter dances. Well, on the plus side, it wasn't the Machop that was kind of overkill, at least until the Machop died, in which case, Machop's really good. Yeah. But, um... Sure. Why not? Be a Nesco. Um... I mean... It's, it's not, uh... Oh, no, it's not funny. It's, it's not Carbink, which I don't think Carbink's bad, I guess, so I don't know if Carbink's worth it or not. Yeah, Carbink would've been okay. I, just, I personally don't like Carbink that much, but that's because I have bad experience with Carbink. Something against the Pokemon itself. The like, Pokemon is in a perpetual stupor because it won't stop drinking. Drunky McPanda. Um, was that Team Four Star that did Drunky McPanda? I have no idea what that is. Oh. Oh, no, no, that was a different double locker. Never mind. Um, does that have any... Oh, that's not what I want to do. I want to see if it had any items that were taking. Nope. Uh, yeah. Prevent itself from being confused by... I don't know, everything I guess, technically, but... Alright, well, we got a... We got a spin. Now. That's actually I never really thought about that, but like having own tempo and like one of those like 
like moves like pedal dance or like Cheater Dance. Or or te- well, does Cheater Dance confuse you? It would if you're ally. It- oh, yeah. I was trying to think of the ones where it's like thrash and shit. Like, yeah, like thrash and yeah. I just wanted to fight on purpose. I wanted to see what exactly was in here. So Ragnarola, Zubat, I'm almost 100% sure it's Zubat's in here. Yeah, it's hard to Ragnarola, not it. Zubat, uh, Carving Cell's in here too. And of course, another thing too. Kelly Burns. Rock, Yeah, that'd be nice. I mean, it would still probably be a harder chance than everything else in here, so, but... Alright, we can- oh, we gotta go with Thief, too. Yes. Wingo? Or... Uh, Psyduck. And Mawile. Oh, Psyduck. Mawile? Without the Mega, is not terribly good. Oh, and a Sableye if you get a carving to call it. Yeah, I mean, Mawile's okay. Yeah, Mawile. Uh, Steel Fairy's a nice typing, but until it mega, unless you're mega evolving it, it's kind of just decent, I guess. Yeah. You're not really. Again, Steel Type's always kind of useful, just because Steel Type's really good, but. You know, I do think it's actually kind of funny, and, and a good lore win that just hit me that, that Carving calls in Sableye, because Sableye eats Carving. <laughs> So, like, the Carbig is calling for help and it tracks a Sableye to its position. If only the Sableye gets called in, attacks the Carbig instead of you, <laughs> then that would be a really uh, good point. That would be hilarious. I want to wrap up the sun. Or, like, if a Surviper tried to call for help and it called in a Zangus, then they just start fighting each other. <laughs> that would be pretty fun. I don't think Pokemon's that fun. But I do know the Surviper can call. Zangus, though. I didn't even know Zangus and Sniper were in this game. Uh, I don't know where they are, but I think they are. Oh no. <laughs> Tarot, you fat fuck. <laughs> you fat lord. Alright, I will admit that particular one probably wasn't necessarily intentional. Well, yeah. Because there was no ne- there was no guarantee that the playtesters were trying to run Toros through yeah, that exact game. Yeah, the, the narrowness of that route is just like, a, you have a very narrow spot to avoid the circles. Yeah. <clears throat> like, yeah, that, it was intentional, but not for the Toros reason specifically. Yeah. The other ones were 100%, they just hated you yeah. as the player. It's like, this area is for Toros specifically to charge through bunch of rocks. But you can. And there's areas where you can't fit. It's like, okay, yeah, that's obviously intentional. There's no way. And, like, that one, like, little off path. Oh, shit. Oh, weird. Huh. But, yeah, but the little, like, off path that you had, like, stop charging to go up. Sure, whatever. That, I guess, kind of makes sense. But to not be able to charge through the entirety of that cave all the way to the end is dumb. And having that one little spot at the very end, like, stop you just... Granted, I think that little, like, tiny option bit should also be fitting, but... It's supposed to be a secret entrance, I guess. See, I just said that so quietly, I don't know if that I can pick up on the bike. That seems really dangerous to have that little tiny, like, two-plank bridge with no railing over a chasm and be like, CHILD, GO! Also, considering that this place is a very common place to be taking kids frequently, it's like, there's gonna be a lot of people constantly walking across that. If someone accidentally trips and, like, kicks it with their shoe or something like that, you know, like, kicks it slightly, like, that's gonna fuck up, like, it might not fuck it up for that particular kid, but like in the future, like <laughs> they could be killing a future kid. Not to mention two, two untidy planks like that. They're gonna rot real fast. I mean, they're probably gonna be well. And this, yeah, and this already looks like a pretty wet Damn, environment. Yeah. yeah, like like there's moss growing, so this is. 
But again, I'm assuming it's going to be treated, so yeah. it'll survive a little longer. Either way, like, you think since this is a trial and an important place, it would be an actual fucking bridge. Yeah. And also, I just noticed as you were leaving that area that the planks are kind of set into the stone, so I guess you can't really kick them out. It's not like this. Oh, shit! Oh, oh, oh yeah. I forgot I didn't fight him. Just right as I turn around the corner, I'm like, wait a minute, didn't I s- Yep. <laughs> yeah, he, he always stops your Tauros. <laughs> I just imagine him doing the, the fucking Twilight Princess thing, just stand in front of the Toro, like, come on, come on, <laughs> come on. Oh yeah, but he has the, the dancing bird. Yeah, the, he's got the dan he's got the Murkrow, it's just like, hell yeah, I'm yeah. just here, I'm just being a Murkrow. Happy dancing Murkrow. There's, there's no reason to fucking hate me, I- Oh no, why are you hurting me? <laughs> Even when he dies, he's like, oh god, why? He's like, I'm just being a Murkrow. <laughs> I- <laughs> I mean, honestly, it was your owner's fault. It had nothing to do with us. We are. We're oh wait, yeah, we can't do this yet. Oh yeah, you have to go to the. You have to go to the boat in order to learn that you can't go on the boat. Okay. Jesus, kid. Oh, you got yeah, some was, vision. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, how the fuck did you get in front of them? Or you know, you! Like, oh, that's what? Who said that? Me. It's like that scene from. Uh, uh, what the hell is that movie? Um, Shazam, where they're across the shadow. Oh, yeah. I can't hear you. We're on the side of the city. What do, what do you say? That's what this kid just did. Like, you. Yeah. Also, I gotta say, never noticed this about the character design, but he's got a little, uh, Vikavolt, uh, shirt. Wait. I like that. I, I didn't notice that was a Vikavolt, but that's kind of cool. <sighs> Alright. He wasn't even on screen. The, thing, the camera literally had to pan. Like, this is the guy who yeah. by the way. <laughs> well, because, like, also, it's like, how the fuck did you not fight this kid? If you can see him from across the map, it's like, I was behind him. Behind him, yeah. Like, I didn't notice that at first. Uh, let's just heal up over here. By the way, what was the. Oh, wait, yeah. I was gonna say, what was the thing that you got from doing that grimer thing? What was it? Brown. Yeah, which is not terribly good. Yeah. I mean, you can make it useful in a double battle, I suppose, but I haven't seen too many double battles in this game. If only Other than the enemy d teaming up on me like a bunch of pricks. Yeah. But yeah, if only uh, Round worked the same kind of way as Echo Toys, or subsequent... But they wouldn't need to do that then, because they already have Round. Or they already have uh, Echo Toys. But if it worked that way... Wait, why... Oh, right. The oh, yeah, you have to go to oh, I forgot to get photos of Um, whatever TM this is. We were, we were so intent on releasing Grimer. It really forgot it was... An attack. It was Echo Boost. Oh, duh, yeah. I was talking about that. But yeah, but if Round worked like the way of, of Echo Voice, but also, like, in a double battle sense, too, it's like, that would be like Echo Voice was slightly better. But then it would also, I mean, to, to give it both properties would be so overpowered at that point. Yeah, but Ground sucks, so... <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying it would be so overpowered because it means you'd use it, your ally would get the boost from you using it, plus the boost from it being used already, and then you'd get the boost from it, your ally using it, the boost from you using it, and the boost from using it again. Yeah, that's a good point. It would, it would ramp up so incredibly quick. Yeah, that's a good point. It would be unstoppable. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could make the argument, like, oh, start at 10 power, but at which point, it, it doesn't matter how fast it ramps up, it's not going to ramp up fast enough at that point. Yeah, no. And because you'd have to do it in increments of, like, roughly five points or so, you're never going to be able to find that sweet spot because of just doubling effects are just too powerful. Yeah. It's going to be 10 power when you use it, your ally would use it at 30 power, then you'd use it at... 10 doubles to 20, doubles to 40, doubles again. You'd use it at 80 on your subsequent turn, and your ally would use it at 160. So, yeah, in two turns, you have a 160 power move, and even if it caps, say, 120, the same way. Yeah. You're now just going well, back. No, I understand. Yeah. You don't have to keep on. No, I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> doubling, doubling effects are so stupid, which is why Pokemon needs to reduce the doubling effects, including, but not limited to, the super effective thing. Yeah. Doubling is just so dangerous. The same way it's dangerous in Magic the Gathering. The number, the, the, the way their system is built is not fit for such a system. It, it causes extreme uh, discrepancies in the numbers. 
Also, I like how he just said that you and Torcat probably did a great job against the Kifuna. It's like, uh, I didn't even send it up. <laughs> did I? No, I didn't, did I? No. Oh. <laughs> and yet he's just like, yeah. Oh, yeah. You want to prepare your speed up now? I can do a little bit at a time, but again, as soon as I start pressing buttons, it stops me. Oh, yeah, good point. So during the little, like, transitional things here, I can do it, but as soon as I start having to spam B, it's not gonna work. I'm surprised you can't even control that. Okay. You can't really. Oh yeah, I forgot you exist. Yeah, I was saying, there's a lot of talking, that's why I suggested you speeding it up then, just because there's a lot to get through. Shut up. Okay. Did she kick me off my Tauros? What a prick! Well, apparently. Did you kick me off my Tauros? I'll fucking kill you! <laughs> With my Tauros! Tauros is gonna run you down. It's a good thing the kid who's never surfed before is a master of surfing. Oh, they're training you right now. Like, yeah, but he never falls off once. Yeah. Like, even- Oh my god, you, you actually did a thing! I press, I, yeah, I wanted to press buttons. <laughs> I wanted to see how far away from the wave I could get. <laughs> he you ride on top of the wave? Just so there's- maybe there's like a- maybe there's- I think, you, I think you can hang up there for a while, yeah. Maybe there's like a scene of- oh, there's nothing up there. I was like, maybe you just ride up there for a second and just kinda like- No, it's not. What is this wave? Why is it- Look at that wave! Yeah, it's like a plateau. No, it's not a plateau. It's it's, it's a fucking crest. Oh yeah. It's a point. Weird. <laughs> what is that? Well, it's also weird that this wave does not curl. That's what all. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's literally just a, a fucking point. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are we done yet? Are we done yet? Are we done yet? Well, you're almost done with the, the move. They're almost the point where you can fuck kick. Oh yeah, and I guess it's gonna land. Can you do me a favor? Look how much of look how much mana. Huh. Oh, the flying type. I know, that's what I think. I want to say only. I mean, in fairness, Pokemon doesn't take into account flying type when they weigh things, because there's a bunch of flying type Pokemon that weigh like 200 pounds. Like, yeah, I'm sure it does. Well, and then also you have a water type Pokemon that can't even swim and would most likely be a flying type if they realized how the weight was on it. With uh, that being a Whale Lord. Whale Lord actually would float in the sky. Yeah, because it's not dense enough. Yeah. But. Shuffle. Alright, wait, I wanted, to spread, I wanted to surf up to the top and see if that wasn't shuffle at the top, or if that was just the, uh, the, the top of the, uh, finish line. Oh, yeah. It looked like a shuffle the one time I saw it, and I called up shuffle without even thinking about it. I'd be like, uh, you know, it might just be the top of the finish line. The part- Okay, so apparently the height of Mantine is 6 feet 11 inches, which, uh... No! Uh, <laughs> or the assumed wingspan <laughs> probably a little closer to that. Oh, from 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 yeah, from like wingtip to wingtip, sure. But this is height. Yeah, well, they, wingspan it's is always height. height. Pokemon measured snakes in height. Yeah, but at least that makes sense. Cause that's head to tail. Yeah, but that's how you measure a a bird is by wingspan. And Manta might I not be a bird. Might, Manta might not be an actual bird, but. You know, there's an argument to be made that you measure it from in wingspan in this particular case. Yeah, but apparently it's 485 pounds. Okay, so it can probably support the weight of a small child without dying. Although I don't think it would actually be able to stay on top of the water. I'm pretty sure at that point it's denser than a rock. Well, you know, Scar Ray's right here. Do they do Scar Ray by wingspan? They don't. They always do everything. Everything in Pokemon's by height. And they don't bother changing anything. Well, then why would they do man time by wingspan? Because in theory, that's how you'd do it? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, because according to this, Skarmory is shorter than man time.
god, the Pokedex is so stupid when you actually really think about it. Even for more than a second. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, so here's a very good height thing, so they're... Yeah, she is shorter. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I thought it only looked like a couple of inches, but no, yeah, that's that's she probably got like significant. It's probably got like four to five inches on her. Yeah. Not like significant. I mean, I guess depending on what you mean by height differences, because I guess in heights five inches could make a huge difference, but I mean like adult to child, like, you know, depending on how old the adult is to how old the kid is, five inches is you know. That's assuming she's a kid. I keep qualifying her as a kid because she looks like a kid. Maybe she's... I don't know. I don't want to say, like, 25. She's clearly not in her 20s. But maybe I, you I could... Like, teen. You could maybe argue for, like, 16 to 18. But, I mean, I really... I kind of... When I look at that, I'm like, she's... Compared, like compared to how tall she is to you guys... Like, yeah, she, she looks like she's maybe 14 at the absolute mm -hmm. most. I suppose the argument, like I said, could be made for, like, 16 to 18. But... Yeah... Alright, um, let's see, what do we need to do? We just need to fight the two people who move on, I guess. They lead with Smoochum. psychic type? Yeah. They lead with Smoochum and they have a Glaceon. So we can leave with Potato. I finally actually remembered both of this time. Holy but shit! Also, I just realized Octillery is way smaller than I thought it was according to the Pokedex 2. It's only two feet tall. Just like a normal cannon. Wait. <laughs> It's like, yeah, a normal octopus maybe, but like, fucking, like, depends on which uh, species of octopus. Cause there's some octopus Actually, yeah, there are some fucking huge octopuses. Pie. I almost said octopuses. Uh, but like, yeah, but don't don't call it, you know, don't don't give it a name of artillery and have it be that small. <laughs> like, that's a pretty small artillery. That that's like calling a fucking. Spitball gun. Oh, there's the wing attack. Okay, Zubat can actually do damage now. Oh, nice. Yay, Zubat, you're not garbage. You're just. I'm going to heal her with life. That'd be really nice. I don't remember. Oh, wait. What it, about. it does still learn it. Yeah. But it's much later now. I want to stay at like 32 or something like that in that ballpark. Oh, that's cool, that? Yeah. Because it's 80 yeah, power. Yeah. Burger. Yeah, he might not learn it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Lily, you're actually gonna give me a headache. Um, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, you can really not learn to see that at all, huh? Come on! Come on! <laughs> They are trying to make this thing endearing, but I have done nothing but be annoyed with it. Not just because I have to keep restarting the game. Because it is just an annoying piece of shit that does not amount to anything. Oh, and believe me, they, they, they make it important to the story, but that doesn't make it any better. Still not endearing. Yeah. It's not like, say, Chaos Kitty. Or, <laughs> or like, say, or like, say, um... Uh, Zigazagoon, one of the Pokemon that I always put up until whenever they moved to 3D. I think it was X and Y when they moved to 3D. Oh, I was never yeah. a big fan of Zigazagoon. I was like, yeah, it's a perfectly fine Pokemon. It does its job. You know, I like it enough. But then when they gave it the 3D animation, it has a little cute little run. Yeah, like, okay, yeah. now you are the it most endearing. Like, little, like, yeah. funny dance it's like you are the most endearing little shit I've ever seen. Yeah, I, I fucking, love Zigazagoon. I fucking now. love how it moves. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, I love Zigazagoon. It's fucking cute. But that little fall cloud? No, I I shit on that thing. Yeah. Well, and it wouldn't even be so bad if they didn't just constantly force it into your goddamn face every two seconds. It's kind of like how like Pikachu is not endearing in the slightest because like it's like yeah, it's fucking Pikachu again. Like I don't care. Like when the same shit is just constantly forced in your face, like you t you end up hating it. Like, even Charizard for me, which I fucking love Charizard, is getting kind of annoying. <laughs> uh, I still love Charizard, I guess but... we go for the fighting move. Did, do you survive its... two of its... whatchamacallit? Probably, probably not. 
can just go to Yeah. Yeah. Just to be safe, just because Mazakita is kind of... He and Zubat are kind of like... Well, actually, no, more Zubat than Mazakita. Also, do me a quick favor because I keep forgetting right, to look it up. When does Drift fall down? I, mean, I want to say like 25, but maybe it's in the 30s. No, I got our luck. It's probably in the 30s. I wish you could tell them not to eat the damn berries. Like, I'm like, I'm about to win the fight yeah. in the next attack. Please don't eat the fucking berry. It's not. Yeah, where's the where's the other uh, the the opposite version of uh uh like what is it hungry or something like that? Yeah, yeah, glutton. It's like where's where's the opposite of that? Oh, okay. I hate to give it a tail whip, but I don't want to give it a quick attack. And bite is better than pursuit, but pursuit has. Actually, I probably should have just gotten rid of pursuit because I'm never gonna be able to predict the opponent's switch because it's so random. When, when, which AIs have? Uh, uh, well, you were close. Uh, you were literally dead in between. Uh, it's 28. <laughs> oh. So you're yeah, you're literally dead in between 25 and 30. <laughs> <clears throat> Rounding up. <laughs> I got that. Um, does remind me though. We need to. Okay, you can learn thief. You can learn thief, and you. Can learn thief. Oh, no. You can't learn thief. That's really unfortunate. So oh. I'm kind of, I'm kind of banging on the stack of spots to learn thief. <laughs> You're banging on, the, banging on the sack. But yeah, that actually is kind of surprising. Um, I could teach it to sub at though. I mean, I know that it's a dark type move, but there, there's a lot of fighting type Pokemon that can learn like a lot of those physical dark moves. Can you teach it to to how do we how do we change it to Kai Kyla? Oh yeah. So Astonish is kind of trash. Thief is pretty good, and we can in theory get. Crobat before the Marowak fight, so Crobat with Thief will do wonders. Yeah. It guarantees I go first, because there's no way Marowak outspeeds that, especially if Halucha with Brave Nature outspeeds it. Yeah. So Crobat will outspeed it, take the the heavy club off. It's Hex's trash, it's Karate, or it's uh, Brick Brave's okay, trash. need to make sure that you don't have an item, though. Yeah. Thief to work? Okay. Good. Sure, it did work. Um, what else? We got Smackdown. Who can learn Smackdown? Oh, uh, you can learn Smackdown. That's probably pretty good. Just... I thought Holy Trick could, but I guess not. I, thought it was I, hate to get rid of, I hate to get rid of Sand Attack, but I think I do. Work Up's just too good. Oh, Fake Out. Um, I like Fake Out, though, because it's a great way for this not for this slow as shit thing to get a priority move in and set up for the kill on Brick Break the following turn, so it only has to take one enemy attack. I guess that's true. I think we gotta get rid of Sand Attack. Doesn't Fake Out only work once, though, in the entire fight? Yeah, but it's the lead. You, you drop the Fake Out. And then yeah. you switch to Brick Break, and the enemy gets one attack off rather than two. Yeah. And that's assuming it doesn't one shot with Brick Break, but I, it's not necessarily guaranteed that I'm going to remember or know when it's capable of one shotting with Brick Break versus when it needs that little bit of extra help. True. So, I do like the fake out on it. Speaking of, we should probably. Actually, we got Potato. That's probably okay. Potato needs a little bit of XP. Um, was there anything valuable in here? No, I think. There's a few items, like an orange berry you got, but other than that, I don't remember being that cool. Yeah, I just remember it's from that one weird person's room, Polaris's room, and then, yeah, the orange berry also from that weird person's room. Great call. And still the Pokemon. Could get Eevee here. I should get Amulet coins, I think, but it's not like that's what we did. No, Amulet coin is uh, over here, in fact. Hey! Oh. oh my god. I thought this was on the next route over, but fucking perfect. I thought that. Too, but I guess some uh, both. Well, now you probably could get the EV egg if you really want it. Yeah, I could totally go for the EV egg. So, yeah, so it depends on whether, whether we want the Mareep or not. I mean, the Mareep's a chance, so maybe we do take the EV. It depends on what else is on the route. So if you can get some good, if you can get some good Pokemon on the route, depending on what they are, then it might be worth rolling for them. And it's the yeah, it's the route that's just called Panula Ranch, right? It's not yeah, good. yeah, that's it's not actually a route number. Wow, one great ball for the Mudbury. This thing's slower than shit, but at least it does a lot of damage, and maybe it's got the... Holy shit, I spelled that correctly. <laughs> I was not expecting that. 
<laughs> oh, that's actually so much better. Uh, in, in Japanese, it's Ohana Ranch. <laughs> Why wouldn't they keep that? I don't know. And I only say that because Lilo and Stitch. I know. <laughs> like, when I, when I read that, I'm like, aww. Oh. means family. Like, when I read that, like, what the fuck? How did they not keep it Ohana? That'd be perfect. I now want to know what Paniola means, because maybe there's still a decent reason for it. But, yeah. Uh, okay, the Sun of Moon. Okay, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. What's a good horse name? I mean, there's technically a donkey, but in theory it'll be a horse. <laughs> oh, as well as a female, I'll just say Eddie Murphy. Uh, <laughs> but... I wanted to do something with like arse, but I, I can't figure out how to turn arse into like a, a feminine type. Sound. Arsen. Arsen is the thief, though. I know. <laughs> and it doesn't sound very like feminine. So I know. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. I was trying to think of how to do like Carmen Sandy. Wait, 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 wait. What if what if we combine Ursula with arse? So we got Ursula. Sure. I think okay. I need to do it. Should I change the E to an A or do I add E A? So it would be Arsala or Arsala. Do you need the E, you think? No, I think you just do the L A and I think that would be Arsh. I think you have to add the E at the end though, but I'm just saying, like, do you want to? I should have taken the E away with Ars. Well, uh, Ursula ends in an A. Right. So. But did I take the one E away in the middle there? Arsula or Arsula? I don't know if the E is necessary. But for the Ars makes it funny. Sure. Why not Arsula? Uh I kinda want this thing in the party though. It doesn't it doesn't really mention night or day, but there's Tauros at 5%, Mareep at 30, Miltank at 5, and Lily Pup at 20. And then Mudbray at 40, but yeah. You already know that. So yeah, so you have Tauros at 5, Miltank 5, Leaf up 20, Moon 2. So we yeah. roll for a chance on Tauros, Miltank, or Lillipup over Eevee. Or the Marine. Right. Didn't I say Marine? Oh, no, I didn't, did I? Yeah, we got the Bulldoze, though. And also, there might be time of day in there, but that didn't specify. Wait, did it get the good one? Oh, it got the, it got the good one. Oh, yeah, stamina. Yeah, that's the... That's, that's the good shit. Boost defense when hit by an attack. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, it's getting nerfed to its special defense, which is a pain in the ass. It just means it can't come in on a special attack, basically. But it's ground, so it only has three weaknesses, so... Most of which prefer special, but... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, nevertheless, this thing's pretty bulky, though, once, especially with that stamina effect. Uh, yeah, I, I, you can even do I don't see you have a couple moves that are easy to toss on it, like, yeah. Roto Tiller is literally useless. Uh, and it? was, yeah, it's only if you're in a double battle with a Grass-type Pokemon. So, oh. yeah. Uh, and then Mud Sport is kind not bad. as good. Like, kind of bad. Like... It's only good if you're going to be switching into something after the fact. So yeah, it's pretty easy to learn to work up. Oh wait, Roost on Zubat, duh. We definitely Oh yeah, that'd be a sp We definitely want that on Rubat, uh, Zubat. Zubat. On Rubat. <laughs> Combination of Rhubarb and Bat. I was thinking, I was thinking Rubin, like the sandwich. <laughs> and Bat! Right. But we both were thinking food. Alright, screw Supersonic, that's a terrible fucking move. Yeah. False Swipe, Smackdown, Thief, and a camera. Really? So can't learn anything. Zubat can't learn Echoed Voice. You know, the animal that Relies uses echolocation okay. with its voice. Um, I have not been tracking the time, but I'm pretty sure we should probably end it right about now. So let's just uh, level up Arsula here. Get it caught up, and then we will call it good here. Yeah, this this could be this could be kind of. I'm not gonna. I'm mean, you know. I'm not gonna finish that sentence because every single time we've said it, it's turned out horribly. Double kicks, sure. That's good coverage. Yeah, Top either one of those is good. Get rid of. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess the question we'll debate between episodes is: Do we want Eevee guaranteed, or do we want to roll for a Marie Tauros? And that's kind of it, really. 
Uh, the other ones are not as good. I guess uh, Beltland's not garbage, although it takes a lot, a little bit of time to get going. But compared to an but Eevee's significantly you know, any better. Any Eevee evolution, yeah. Besides Flareon. <laughs> Even Flareon's a little better. Know, yeah. Oh um, yeah, we'll debate that one. Fair. I think. The more I think about it, just even right now on the the short term, I'm thinking Eevee might be the better one. But I'm gonna put some thought into that one. I think so. But yeah, that, that's something something to think on, and you have time to. So we'll be back next time. Yep. See you.